I'm now going to show you step by step how to tension blow dry your hair. Or my sister's hair in this case. So, her hair has been freshly deconditioned and co-washed with the normal products. Um, more info in the description box if you want to know. I have sectioned it into, I think I had it sectioned into like 10 sections, 5 on each side. And now I'm just unbraiding that section and then I will comb out a small section from that individual braid to make sure it's completely detangled because the better it's detangled, the easier and the better results you'll get from your blowout. So as you can see, that's what I'm doing here. And once that's done, I am going to pin the rest of that section out of the way so I can have plenty of working room to blow dry. Okay, so now I'm going to add some of my Elastic UP Design Foam. Just a small amount. You don't need a lot because if you add too much, you'll end up with sort of a sticky residue on your hair. So add that to the section and work it through very, very well. And comb it through again. And you guys, don't worry. I know you can't see very well what's going on here, but we'll have a close-up later on, so stay tuned. Okay. So I have my blow dryer here. You can... Honestly, I think it's up to you what heat setting you use to blow dry your hair. Some say you shouldn't go any any higher than medium. Some say you should use only a cool setting. I use anywhere between medium and high, and that is because my hair and my sister hair is heat trained, so we don't get as much heat damage from using a higher temperature on our hair. That may not be true for someone who doesn't use heat as often, so play it by ear and do what works best for you. So as you can see, I am pinching and pulling the hair as I run the blow dryer down from root to tip. Now obviously the roots are going to take longer to dry than the ends are, so concentrate the heat more there. And keep that away from the ends more because obviously the ends being the more delicate portion of your hair, you want to be careful that you're not applying too much heat. So I usually end up doing two passes on each section of hair and going further away on the second pass. And as you can see, I'm getting nice straight results from this method. I really, really like the tension method. It works well for me. Um, there are other methods of doing it, but this is my favorite one so far. And that's what I've gotten from the first section. So as you can see now, I have finished, almost finished, this entire first braid that I started with. And these are the results that we have. It's looking really, really good. Especially since she gave deep condition to her hair before I did the blowout, she got really, really soft, um, supple hair with a lot of body shape. That's what I like with this method of the blow dryer. And moving on to the next section, we'll see what we have next. Yay! Woohoo! We are halfway done. That was five sections, I believe. It took me about a little over 30 minutes for the first half to finish. And again, that depends on how wet your hair is. You, if your hair dries out too much while you're working the rest of it, you can re-moisten it with plain water in a spray bottle because you don't want it to be too dry or your hair will be brittle by the time you're done. So re-moisten if necessary. So moving to the other side. This is a close-up, I promise you guys. Yay! So I have a section of hair. Again, same routine. I'm adding a small amount of my Elastic UP Design Foam, and I am thoroughly working that into a small section of hair, as you can see, and then I will detangle as normal with my comb, again, whatever styling tool of your preference will work here. Okay, so you see this motion I'm doing with my hands? I like to sort of crimp the hair in between my index finger and my thumb and pinch it and move it down the length of the hair. That gives me really nice straight results for my blowout and I think it's just the easiest method, at least for me, with um, blow drying. So moving it down, starting from the roots, and as you can see I'm concentrating most of the heat towards the roots of the hair. It's a 
the safest way to do it. Going from top and bottom as well. Oh, and a little side note, if you guys happen to see little puffs of smoke somewhere, it's not her hair. It's just the product evaporating, so no worries, I'm not crazy. Okay, I think you guys have got the point. If you didn't, rewind. So we're just going to fast forward through this little bit here so that we can get to the good stuff. Put on your seatbelts. the magic of video editing you guys we are almost done look at that I know I know thank you very much thank you very much okay we are at our last section and praise be homegirl's got a lot of hair so we are just going through the normal drill, yada yada yada. You know what we're doing here to blow dry this beautiful last section of hair. And I'll see you guys in a minute because obviously there's nothing more for me to say right now. So talk to you later. Yay, we are all done, finally finished. It looks great. I'm really pleased with how this blowout turned out. And my sister was pleased as well. <laughs> but that's really it, you guys. Again, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, I'll be happy to hear and listen to them. Um, please visit my website, hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, and all the other social media stuff we spend way too much time on. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.